Building Club. Four, 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 four. Life. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're here with another deck tech. We're going to take a look at Bert's Viv Vision deck. Um, we got Bert with us. He's going to kind of walk us through the deck a little bit here, Bert. Uh, talk about Viv, then I guess go through your curve, and then we can hit the uh, plot twist at the end. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, John, baby? Let me talk to you about Viv Vision real quick. The truth of the matter is, Viv Vision's only in front of this deck because she's a champion, she has six health, and Baby Avengers and Fallback are broken blue cards and probably just should be in decks anyway. But the big, the biggest draw to, for me was she levels up really quick because of our one drops, which we'll get to in a second. So turn two, turn three levels, and reboot because we have Cho Hulk in the deck, and he's a random 13-13. Uh, she needs one cost. She needs ones in attack, defense, health, and cost. That's why we have Dinosaur Zola and the MVP of the deck, which is Mr. in Betwixt those butt cheeks, the in-betweener. <laughs> uh, he gives you five XP, which is so random, and she needed it. And yeah. He's, he's a two-drop 4-4 four, four with three health anyway, so it's hard not to want to play him. But Zola gives you four, Dyna gives you three. So there's lines of, like, turn one, you play the Dyna team attack. Turn two, you play two Zolas, or you play the in-betweener, and that'll get you turn, th turn three level. She's a 6-8, depending on if you got the Dyna. Right. She's able to fight. She has the Baby Avengers on backup. And then just from there, it's just... Your end game's going to be better than theirs because they're going to run out of cards, but you're not because you have reboot, which reboot. is pay a blue and a green, put your hand and your KO pile back into your deck, shuffle and draw seven. So that in combination with Cho Hulk, because he gains, he gets bigger every time you draw cards. It's just, it's just a lot of good stuff. I'm yeah, really so proud it, of how that. So came you can out like now. drop a Cho Hulk reboot and just have a thirteen thirteen. Yeah. And like that just added to the uh, the meta or yeah, the meta of what was going on with the format was like, hey, can you answer this? Yeah, I've got the beast or the Morloon or my Foon's bigger. Well, I've got Cho to answer your answer. So I, I was really happy with that. And plus, I mean, we got we got more Loon and Foon in the deck too. So just overall just good stuff on each drop, you know, regular schmegular stuff. Right. Uh, so we don't have a three drop threat though. I guess that's cause you're just trying to under drop to get your XP down. Yeah. They're, they're actually aside from, I want to say Strucker, there were no three drops in the format that had a one on them that I actually felt the need to play. Like oh. you can bring up the argument for iron heart and Strucker, but they yeah. only give you one XP. So why not just under drop and like guarantee that level with like double Zola or like Dinah and in between her, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of where I was at, yeah. Okay, then we got the four Flints and the Savage, the three Dylans, one Spiked, uh, the Cho Hulk we talked a little bit about, the, the, yeah. Levy, the, uh, the Levy Beast, Serpent Crown, and then the pretty standard top end of Marloon and the Fing Fing Fooms. Loon and Foom, yep. So, and Man, you, you cool. touched on it a little bit. You got the Baby Adventures and the Fallback. You got your Think Again and your... Uh, uh, What's the what's the name of the super sense? Super right? sense, just, yeah. Just overall good stuff that you have to argue why you're not playing, right? Yeah. And it just it it props up mainly so champions <clears throat> like it props them up. It makes them have way more game than they deserve. Right. Uh, and we I just wanted those and like I I want think again in my deck, you know. So. So yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm trying to think if there's any like. Are there any little, like, nuances that you might not see? Like, if, if someone who hasn't played the deck before, like, just looking at it from the outside, looking in, like, what are the, like, mm. tricky things that it took you a little while to grasp about this deck? Uh, well, this is main, mainly for the, the, the meta or the format itself. Wakanda Mind Gem is so brutal, man. I, oh, man. It ended up being that, like, you actually needed to be able to search out your equipments against like Senator and random crap like that. Um, so like in your yellows, you only see like maybe a yellow a game. So you can use your wild look for, for mind gem. And that car is just so brutal, especially if the, the board is in parity or like if you're slightly ahead, mm -hmm. like they're, they're trying to catch up, but you're like, Oh, I got this 
Morlun and a gem or this Foom and a gem. Like, they can't win. But you just take all their cards because, again, like, Viv, like, Mind Gems don't really hurt you as much if you land your Lokes because you can reboot, but they can't reboot. So, like, they're never going to catch up from that stuff. Okay. So, that, that card's really brutal. So you're really a, a war of attrition here. You're, you're, yeah. you're utilizing your six wounds, just kind of stay ahead or yeah. stay even, dropping the mind gem, trying to rip the last of their resources out of their hand, mm -hmm. and then boom, reboot, I'm back up to seven. I've yep. got a bunch of gas, and you, you're just top decking now, right? Yep, you're, you're top decking. You have, like, maybe one block left, or, like, your board sucks, and, like, I can get to you, you know? Um uh, yeah, it's a, it's definitely grindy. It's super grindy, and I'm really happy with how it came out. Okay, good. Very cool. Well, I yeah. appreciate you uh, sitting down, taking a few minutes out to uh, talk about this deck. Uh, I know Viv's been a pet project of yours for a while. You've always yeah. liked the... I think... I'm trying to th remember. I'm pretty sure it was the year she came out that you were like... You first started messing with her. We were trying to make her work, but it was just... There wasn't enough for... I remember in our group chat the the day it was like a month after in between her came out that we were you were like, is this good for Viv? Does this give her five XP? And we start looking at it and we're like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. That's so. It's, yep, it says it says printed ones on there. He definitely gives you five XP. Definitely it, five it gives, ones there. Yeah, it gives her way more game than she deserves. Honestly, like reboot being once <clears throat> per once per game is not that good. Her zeros ability is terrible. But she has flight, she has six health. So, like, her being able to level turn two, turn three is strong. Originally, my biggest problem with her was Reboot didn't feel important enough. And even with Cho, like, they're going to answer him eventually. Like, he's never just going to be, like, a 22-22 unless they're drawing really bad. So, like, it, it, it's just never felt worth it. But if she can level really fast, which is what we leaned into, and you just have that superior top end, like, you should never lose in the mid unless you're drawing really bad, right? You can't do anything about bad draws. Yeah. But you should never be dying in the mid, especially, again, fall back, baby Avengers. That okay. stuff just gives her too much. It gives her way more game than she deserves. Let me ask you this, because you talked about there's not, there were no real relevant three drops that could have helped you out. Yeah. If, if Senator Kelly was a 1-1 one, one or a 1-2, could we have seen the vision as a Senator Kelly deck? If if Senator was a one 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 or a one two one, that's still only two XP though. Like we would have had to land it would have had to be exactly Dinah in between her Senator to level up. Uh, see, eleven would have been what like Zola into Zola, Zola yeah. That's Zola four into plus... in between her's eight XP. So then you would have needed three. So he he would have had to have three ones on him to even consider it at that point. Yeah. Yeah, so. there's cool stuff you can do with her in the multiverse too. Just mm. before we go, like, like Vicky turns your reboot into just a straight up blue. That seems really strong, and she gives you three XP. Uh, there's obviously like Kane and stuff, right? So you right. don't miss the reboot, and he gives you two XP. Interesting uh, but, that you mentioned that. Though you don't actually, I didn't even think about that. You don't have Kane in here. No, I don't. I don't have Kane. He's a two. But he only gives you two XP. You're looking for a three or four. Right. He's not. Uh, he doesn't give you five. He just gives yeah. you two and a resource. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Naja and uh, Captain Swain could come up in a deck where you're like super power hungry. They both give you four apiece. Right. Uh, but generally speaking, from now on, like you have to play in between. You just have to, man. If you're playing Whether Viv, you need to yeah. sleeve up in between her, right? Yeah. yeah. That, that's too. Combling... It's crazy that this this quote unquote two drop. It's giving you more XP than this one drop, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he can fight, too. He's so so impactful. Yeah. Sweet. Always. Always play in between her, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, appreciate it. Uh, thanks for talking with us, and I wish you the best of luck at Midwinter. Thank you, man. I'll see you out there. Yep. Cheers. Building Club. Forward. Life.